In this video, I'm going to go over the login page in MemberPress and show you how to customize your user's experience when they log in. The login page is where your users will go to log into your site once they're members. It's set up by default in MemberPress, but you can customize it or choose to create and use your own. To illustrate, I have a sample membership site here. It's a basic baking site that offers content for members to learn how to bake. On my navigation menu, you can see this link here, Login. When a user clicks it, they'll be able to log in here on my login page. See our video on adding a login or logout link to your navigation menu for a more in-depth tutorial on this. So now I'll show you the login page in the back end. From my WordPress dashboard, I'll go to MemberPress, Settings, then the Pages tab. Here under Reserve Pages, you see MemberPress login page. By default, you can see here in this dropdown, this page is set to my login page. If I right-click View here and open it in a new incognito window, I can see that it takes me to my login page, with the URL being my site slash login. I'm opening this in a new incognito window because it'll let me visit the login page being completely logged out of my site. If I were to open the login page in a new tab or window, it would just redirect me to my home page and it wouldn't let me see the login page since it would recognize that I'm already logged in as my admin user. I'll go into the redirect settings later in the video. And going back to the settings, if for some reason this page isn't automatically set to login, you can use the dropdown and select Auto Create New Page, then click Update Options here at the bottom to generate a login page. With my login page selected in the dropdown, I can also click Edit here to customize the page. So I'll click Edit, and it'll take me to my login edit page. You can also go to Pages here in the left sidebar and find your login page here and click to edit it. Now, the login form is hardwired into this page by MemberPress, so seeing a blank page here is normal. By default, the login form is set to display at the bottom of the page. So if I wanted to add text, for example, above the login form, I could simply type some text here in the text box. Then I'll click Update. Then I'll open the login page in a new incognito window. Then I can see my text above the login form. So now I'll close this incognito window and go back to my edit page. Again, the login form is hardwired onto this page, so you won't see it here in the text box. Now, if you want to add content below the login form to further customize your page, you can do that. First, you'll need to enable this option to manually place the login form on the page. So I'll enable that. It'll then display this short code here. You can copy and paste this into your text box to display the login form manually. You can also use this short code to display the login form on any post or page on your WordPress site. So just to show you, I'll copy the short code, then paste it below the text I already entered here in the text box. Then I'll add some sample text below the short code. And for this subscribe text, I'll add the link to my registration page. So I'll highlight it and link my registration page. Then I'll click Update. Now I'll open my login page in a new incognito window again and see my new text displayed below the login form. Now I'll close the incognito window and go back to my login edit page. And remember, to use this shortcode on the login page, you must have this option here to manually place the login form on the page enabled. Now, you'll notice in the shortcode there's a piece of it here, use redirect equals true. This will redirect users to a page of your choice once they log in, if you're using the shortcode on your login page. Your members will either be redirected to the global redirect page you have in your MemberPress settings, or the redirect page set up per membership. Let me show you both of those. So first, I'll show you the global setting. I'll go to MemberPress, Settings, and the Account tab. Here under Login and Log Out is where your users are redirected to when they log in. Mine's set to my homepage. You might want to change this to redirect members to their account page or a custom dashboard page, for example. With this option, you can also choose where members are redirected to when they log out. My users get redirected back to my homepage. Now, you can choose to redirect users who have different memberships to different pages per membership, too. You do this per membership edit page. So, just to show you, I'll go to MemberPress, 
Memberships. And then I'll click my Basic Membership. Then I'll scroll down to Membership Options and the Advanced tab. Then I'll check Custom Login Redirect URLs. Next to Default Login Redirect URL is where you'd set the URL you want users who have an active subscription to this membership, in my case, my basic membership, to be redirected to when they log in. Setting this URL here will override the global redirect URL I just showed you in the settings. This might be useful if you have different custom content or dashboard pages for each membership tier. Or, for example, if you have a membership level that only offers courses, I could redirect those members to my courses page. Now, you can customize your logins even further in this section here, Add Custom Login Redirect URLs. Here, you can enter a URL you want active subscribers of this membership to be redirected to after a specific number of logins. You can use the plus sign icon to add as many as you want. For example, after a user's 10th login, meaning the 10th time they log into your site, you may want to redirect them to a page you have for a special promo offer. And that would look like this. So, in this case, on the user's 10th login, once they log in, they'll be redirected to the promo page. Then, on their 11th login, they'll be redirected to whatever page I have set here next to default login redirect URL, or, if I don't have this set, the URL set in the account tab of my member press settings. Whatever redirect URLs you have set up here will only take effect on that particular numbered login, in my case, number 10. So, think of it this way. Your global redirect URL in your member press settings can be overridden per membership with this option, default login redirect URL, which can be overridden further per login number with these custom login redirect URLs. So now that you've seen how to customize the login redirect per membership, I'll go back into the member press settings to show you a few more things. I'll go to member press, settings, and back to the pages tab. While we do recommend using the login page that MemberPress generates for you, you can also choose what page on your site to use as your login page instead. And you do that here in the dropdown. And that's it. You've now seen an overview of the MemberPress login page. See our knowledge base for more information and troubleshooting. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.